so happy it's thursday how are y'all this morning yes sir you know what so happy it's thursday means right let's break that down into an acronym no we're not gonna do that today it is not tgif but it is definitely not that either all right so we got mike whaley mr buttram apocalypse survivor matt one uk is back in the house today you must he's, he's visiting the trailer home again alan ritz from uh down under is here. Thank you, sir. Brian Vines, trolling for dollars. The light speed Minnesota maker and my beautiful wife just popped in here as well. You can go away now. I don't want to talk to you no more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh man, it's a uh, it's another beautiful day here. We've got what is what are we down to now? Good morning, Joe Paddock. We're down to three more, three more. Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning coffees, and then Monday we've got to get. Get back up on the uh, on the horse of that going to work thing. So, whoo, about the time, about time. Let's see what we got here. All right, so I can get off there and get on to here, and there we go. All right. Hopefully, good morning, Dragon Monk. How are you, my friend? How are you today? I am going to do some more printing on this thing today. I don't know if y'all looked at the title of today's show. But the TiVo has went back to the home on the shelf and it will be there until I get a new board and I can redo it together. What's up, John Mack? How are you this morning, sir? The TiVo will, will not be printing until I change it. And that should be... You added Octopi to Astro Print Cloud. Did you? I hope you made a video of doing that. I don't even think I've ever heard of that, but I'm sure I'm sure somebody's done it before. But hopefully you documented it so we can all see what you did, because that sounds pretty cool, actually. Morning, Mapro Six. How are you? Oh, oh, really? Cool. Y'all will never guess what we're printing here. I don't know if I can get around the front or whatever with this thing. I don't think so. I don't think I can get far enough around here. So we're just going to have to watch it from the top. All right. Yeah, that's working pretty good. Let me see how the, uh, how the camera got here. We might run this one. Run this one during the stream here. See if I can get the overhead up. Overhead, there you are. Oh, that light sucks. I don't really got any way to do this so that I can get my camera in front. 
screw everything up. Come on. That gum thing. Yeah, I don't have any way to get it. I have to turn the whole dang table. Y'all just don't have to deal with the lights. That's all I can tell you. Come back around here. I was trying to get it all set up, but I was slow. Alright, close enough. You can watch it print there. I'll make it a little smaller. It ain't, it ain't to watch how good it prints anyway. It's just to give you something to look at other than me. All right, who am I missing? Slug's in the house. Talked to him this morning on Discord for like two seconds. Uh, Tyler 3D Prints, good morning. How are you? How are you? Yeah, yeah, I know, man. You know, if it wasn't for those, let me see if I can zoom and uh, do this better move this over here and let's go configure video let's move it over here camera control turn the focus off auto and zoom in that's as far as it's gonna zoom oh yeah we can make it focus and hit apply hit ok and ok now I will say you know I've got this running in the background What's up, Apocalypse Survivor? How are you? Hawk 3D Proto. Yes, sir. All my lovely folks are here this morning. I'm going to try to catch up with some uh, YouTube videos today, I think. You're, you're old and feeble. <laughs> Whatever, man. Come on. Come on. I haven't even seen my, old man, my, my, my older gentleman in here today. The oldest one I know that gets in here. He's not. He hasn't been here today. He might be sleeping in this morning. Which is odd, because he's not, he's not, he doesn't sleep in very often. Wah, 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 wah. I really am going to have to get that sound and put on here and have that for, for during, during the show, man. Just, just for Brian Vines, I swear. Oh no, that's not true. Matter of fact, he he ain't here today, so we can't sing happy birthday. Today is Matrix Clone's 73rd birthday, so no, you're not the oldest one. That'll work, Mr. Buttram. We'll let that go through there for sure. You just put your logo on the button. All right. That's right. No trolling for dollars? I, I think... Uh, I think Tala 3D Prince has got you, got you uh, beat. He's from Tallahassee, Alabama. I guess that's the Tala 3D Prince name. Comes from Tallahassee, and that's not to be, <laughs> that's not to be uh, confused with Tallahassee, because it is absolutely not. It is Tallahassee. Xander uses that trombone barrel. I got you. Then you feel young. All right. That's good. I'm glad we can make you feel something. Warm and fuzzy's good. Yeah, it looks worse on camera than it is. It's actually pretty good. But don't... And I know you can hear it. Okay? You, you can hear it running, right? If I could have any printer, what would I get and why? That's a tough question. Um, oh yeah, barely. I know it's it's not. And the fan just came on. This right here is what you're hearing. The power supply fan, because even even these fans are not killing it. Um, So let me let me see if I could have any proto printer that I wanted, what would I get? See, here's here's the thing. Good morning, Carl Brown. If I could have any printer that I wanted, what would I? Fuck, I don't know. Oh, made me drop the f bomb. Um. 
I really don't know, man. Uh, because there's actually just two. There's just two that I want. And one of them is uh, the Moai. Because I would like to do... I would like to do some... Okay, I would like to do some SLA. And then, as Brian Vine said, I would like to have an Artemis. But I think I could get something similar to an Artemis just by putting a duet on the TiVo. And, and, and doing away with some of the quirkiness of the TiVo. Because, as the title stated, I'm done with it. Until I can upgrade that printer, I'm done with it. It's wasted filament. It's wasted tips. It's wasted time. Just time after time. Now, it did print this frame on this, this piece of awesomeness sitting next to me. But, it is... <laughs> tractor feed paper. They will not. They, they will not. Matter of fact, Matter Hackers... They sponsor Joel, okay? Um, they will help out with, with projects that will get them publicity. My little 571 subscribers, although I love you dearly, okay? That's a drop in the damn bucket when they've got, you know, they could send one to... to Angus, they could send one to Joel, they could send one to Tom, and he would review it for them. I promise you he would. Even though he said he doesn't want to do reviews anymore, if Matter Hackers reached out to Tom and said, hey, we're going to send you an Artemis to review, would you? Yeah, I know everybody starts somewhere. The problem is is that they don't need startups. You know? What's up, Sean? Good morning, sir. Thank you for my comment on my video, as well as everybody else that commented, not just Sean. And it won't be the only video you're in. I'm still working on the others. You're, you're in another one. Well, at least the skew view is. I don't know if you are particularly. Yeah, this is another frog. I um, well, one problem, one problem I'm still having with the wing thing. I printed another one last night, but I wanted to make sure that the rest of the prints were fine because I tightened the belts up and it got worse and I tightened them evenly they they were evenly <laughs> that's cool Sean I appreciate that dude it, it turned out better than I thought well and the the, the thing is Hawk it's it's like Daniel Norrie said the Benchy is so prolific in the 3D printing community that people could. I might do that. H3DP icon. Could try that. But the, it's so prolific that people can look at it and go, yeah, it works. Or no, it doesn't. And they can say, well, I had that problem and here's how I fixed it because they've done it. I know, man. I know Tyler 3D Prince. He was a butthead. Didn't want to talk to me. And now see if, since Josh has uh, tagged uh, Pratt, Pratt, Pratt in the, uh, in the tweet on it, you know, if he responded, that would be friggin' just awesome. Bugman 140. Never heard of him. What's up, Scalda? I give you a thumbs up then, Scalda. Tommy. Being from Alabama, are you from Alabama or did you just move to Alabama? Because if, uh, born and raised, so are you a Tommy Joe?
Because, you know, Eddie Moser gets on here. Yeah, right? No doubt. I don't know if they're having to build your, the pay your age Tommy Dean. <laughs> Mom, mama didn't like, mama didn't like Billy. So you got Tommy. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's really sad. They took the build a bear away from uh, us here in Tallahassee. The closest one we have is uh, actually where I'm going to meet Ben Craig. It's in Destin. I think Panama City the two hours away it's the closest Build-A-Bear we have my son-in-law and daughter wanted to take my my granddaughter over to it to do it but it's just it's too far by the time you drive that <laughs> may have heard my cousin Jimmy yeah right now he uh, it's just too far and you, you waste money by then so Jimmy Dean I hear you brother All right, I got to go back. I was talking about something. Can't remember. Then I get sidetracked, of course. Man, this thing prints good. I'm gonna tell you. And I added something yesterday that we're gonna do a. I'm gonna do a tutorial on it because I couldn't find a tutorial on it. So we're gonna find one. Yeah, I can imagine Apocalypse Survivor, but the one in the Tallahassee Mall up here, it just it doesn't do well. You know, Myrtle Beach is great because you got a lot of tourists that come there for the beach. Tallahassee's a college town. So it's just... Oh, it worked out perfectly. Trolling for dollars, it did. Um, I would love to do a tutorial on how to do that. The problem is is that I did use Timothy Hoogland's software, his firmware, because it was just easier. Um, but it still took forever. And if I hadn't used his, you have to search for the old bootloader because the new one doesn't work on the Ender. So if you don't have the old bootloader, then you can't do it. And you also have to build a bootloader or buy one. You know, the, the, the programmer. So... Which I have one that I built for doing Arduino projects back last year somewhere. I, I built it. So I have a programmer made out of an Arduino Nano. And yeah, I mean, it, it works really well. But it was a lot more complicated. It, and I don't want to knock Timothy stuff because... <laughs> Sing it, James. Sing it. Sing it. But I don't, I don't want to knock Timothy's stuff, but you know it's supposed to be a plug-and-play solution. And with that, there's not. You can't just plug it in and go, okay, now you're working. You, Regardless of, of what you do, you have to flash firmware. And in order to flash the firmware, you have to flash a bootloader. That's beyond a lot of folks. R really, a lot of folks. So, I mean, you limit yourself. And there's nothing Timothy can do about it. It's, it is what it is. But it would be a lot better if he could automate that somehow. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad you were singing that, James. It makes me happy. It makes me happy that you can get happiness from my shirt. I don't know, Mr. Butchman. I don't know. I don't know if it's... A I don't know if it's the same or not. You and James should do a comedy show, Ryan Vines. You really should. Well, and that would be cool. You know, but then why not just buy a CR-10S? If you're going to buy an Ender 3 and then the 100 bucks or whatever it is for a CR-10S board...
But we actually really went the simple route as far as the probe goes because I think the one that Timothy uses, you have to use the, uh, the octocoupler and all that stuff, and he's got it all on a board, and you just you know unplug this or whatever and plug this board in, and it works. We went the simple route. We soldered a diode onto the signal pin and made a plug for the wire to plug into the Z-stop and then stripped back a little bit of wire on the fan to give it power. So worked like worked like a champ. All right, Hawk Proto, we'll see you in a minute. Sweet, Brian Vines. Show them, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, people will buy stuff. It's what it's worth to people. Uh, Tala, this is a, a home sweet strawberry, which I don't have. I need to buy some more Capella sweet strawberry, and I don't have the money. I am almost out. I'm hoping like hell that I can make my juice that I've got last three weeks so I can order some more stuff to make my own juice with. Because I don't get paid for another, well, three weeks and four days. So. But back to Shom. People buy what they want. So, if they like your model, yeah, $3 is not unreasonable. Okay? It's absolutely not unreasonable for a model. You know, if, if it's a good model and that's the case, then, you know, why not? That's right. You know, it's really funny, and, and, and I'll use this as an example, Sean, because this is exactly the way I feel about it. I was dabbling, and this was in 2010, okay, so whew, eight years ago. I was dabbling, going, going to learn Android programming. So I walked through this tutorial and I changed all the code, not, not, not even just most of it, but I changed all of the code to make it do what I wanted it to do. But it was just a little screensaver and it was stupid. I wouldn't buy it. When, so that whenever you were dragging your screen, it, it was cool. You could change your, your, you know, the trailer, like with your finger you could make it a diamond or a dollar sign or whatever people bought it for 99 cent they bought that application that I put on the Google store I was like you have got to be kidding me that somebody actually bought this but it turned into a hundred and eighty thousand dollars worth of software money from another project because it gave me the confidence to move forward with another project that I actually wanted to do. So when I put that out there for 99 cent and in day two, I had four sales of this stupid little program and it was dumb. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's still out there for sale. Haven't sold one in forever, but it's still there. I don't even know if it works on the new Android devices or not, but put it out there. Somebody will buy it. You know, I really and truthfully, dude, <laughs> what is it you'll buy it right? No, don't buy it. <laughs> I don't even remember the name of it. I really don't. I would have to go back out. I haven't been on dev.google.com in forever. What's up, Matt? Hadn't seen you in a while, my friend. Work keeping you busy or kids and why? Because all of it combined together will absolutely keep you busy. Dude, you can sell STL files in a... Morning, Don. You can sell STL files in an Etsy store. I mean, really. Set up an Etsy store and sell STLs on there. You know, if you don't want them, like, bunched together with a whole bunch of others, and you don't want to take on your... You know, take on keeping up, maintaining your own site, put them in Etsy. You know? What's up, Dom? How are you? The Walturd would be good. I like that. The Walturd. 
Robbie Mac sells clip art on Etsy. That's cool, Robbie Mac. Overslept badly? I did not. I was actually up early. What's up, Vince? How are you? It's 125. <laughs> yeah, you overslept quite a bit then, didn't you? That's right. Show them. Just put stuff in there. Now I, I will I will I will have to say I agree with Apocalypse Survivor. If you're going to sell models for people to print, when they put them on their bed, they need to be the size they need to print them at. Or, you know, they can blow them up or whatever, but or shrink them if they want to. But they shouldn't have to up stuff eighteen hundred percent or whatever whatever the percentage. So that may be something you need to look at. I understand that that's the way y'all do things and it's easy for you to print them but you will get bad publicity that way if, if if they put it on the bed and they're expecting you know something this tall for that model and they get something you know this tall for that model they're 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 going to be pissed and they will they will voice that opinion on the internet and it will hurt you a hell of a lot more than help you. So that's just advice, you know. Yeah, no, it's not simple though, Sean. That's the thing. Because it's still a guess. Okay, when when you have to put 1,875% on a model for it to be the right size. Other people are just being nice, buddy. I'm being your friend. Okay? There's a difference. I love you to death. I want you to be successful. You know, you know, I do. Okay? But it, it's still, it's still, you will get more of a following if I can just drop your model on the bed and hit print and not have to worry about that it's coming out the size of a toothpick. Okay? So don't think that I'm that I'm just jumping down your throat about it because I'm not. I am I am being an honest friend for you right now. Well, that that's the thing, Matt. Good morning, Jason. How are you? How are you? I got you. I got you. Well, I just don't want you to take it the wrong way, Sean. That that I'm that I'm picking on you because I'm not. I want you to be successful. Um, but here's the thing, Matt. You're right. Um, it, it's not even that I have to scale it up. That's fine. Yeah, no, and that's right, Dom. That's the problem. But um, back to Matt. It, it wouldn't be so bad, I guess, if uh, if you put it like on Thingiverse and you said, okay, in order to to print at regular size, you need to scale to eighteen hundred seventy five percent. If you if you if you set that down, yeah, that's 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 the biggest thing, Sean. And there's a video on it. I watched the video on that. For, for Fusion 360 now I don't know about others because I, I don't I haven't dabbled in much of anything actually but I do know that there's a way to do that to set the scale on that picture so that when you do it mm, I'll try to find it for you Chom and send it to you brother have a good day at work be careful out there on the road because I'm gonna tell y'all right now there's the reason that I don't print more of Chom's model That's the one reason. Check Twitter. Somebody tweeting me. Twitter. Twitter.com. Have notifications. Two hours later. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, 
Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I just hit a like on that. I do. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that may be so, Brian Vines. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. We'll see. We'll see. We actually hit 671 last night during Chris's... Uh... Well, I don't think Chris is awake yet. He might have put it online last night. I'm not sure. I haven't seen him. You shut your mouth, Matrix clone. Anyway, who was it? Tal, Tal 3D Printing? Um, Tommy, Tommy Dean? Now you're not the oldest person in here. Because Methuselah just walked in the door. Oh, and I can just hear him now. Oh, that F-bomb just dropped. <laughs> what did I do to the... Yes, I did. I did tighten the belts. I did. And it got worse. Um, I can go get... Let me go get the model I printed last night after I tightened the belt. Hold on. Now, the problem is, is that I don't have enough filament of the same type to keep printing these models all the same, okay? So, here we go. Here's the first one, okay? We all saw this. This is this is how we started right here. All right? You can see the, the banding up at the top up there. All right, so then I scaled it up to this. All right, so the banding on the big model is actually deeper and worse. But that could be related to to filament. So I, I'm I can chalk that up. All right. So here is back to the red scale. This scale after tightening the belts. That's after a belt tightening. And this was actually. And if you look down here at the bottom, this was actually after. See this down here. This is actually after a failed print. A failed print so I had a failed print where the limb didn't work the the front arm didn't work and it, it these are bad again and I don't know I don't know how I backed up All right, hold on James disagrees disagree then buddy but I will stick I will tell you I will work on this one until I get it done the TiVo can kiss my toe That's right, James. That's exactly right. Whatever I say, pick the opposite because it's probably wrong. <laughs> Frog Roy was here. But the, the cool thing is, okay... And this is printing this tree frog very nicely. The print quality on this thing is fantastic. I'm, I'm not, not in any way disappointed with this. And I'm, you know, what's up, David Olson? How are you, my friend? I'm not as disappointed with the TiVo as you think I am. It's just, it's just a fight every time to try to get it to print. When it does print, it prints well. You know, I was happy with this frog. I really was. This frog made me happy. This frog actually made me happy even though the legs were messed up a little bit. But it's every time you print. Just be careful as you walk. We know how your knees are, James. We love you, buddy. Don't fall down on the sidewalk. Lay down, take a nap maybe, but don't fall down. But Because when, when the TiVo prints... It's got some damn good print quality, okay? So I have to say that the printer's okay. And don't give me, I don't mind tinkering a little bit, a little bit, every now and again. But every friggin' print, every print, 
You want me to print a squirrel? I didn't think I squirreled off. I was on the TiVo. So, that's my only issue. I don't want to... Yeah, anyway. Just just aggravated me. Just, just completely aggravated me. Are you still in Lisbon, David? A country squirrel. There you go. Oh, you squirreled off. I got you. Link in Discord. Did you put it in voice? I don't see it. Where'd you put it? Under useful links? Or you didn't put it there yet? Well, no, because even my friggin' ANET, man, when I hit print, it printed. But the TiVo, you can hit print one time and it'll print great. Stop, hit print again, it'll print great. Stop, hit the same model again, and it just crap. Just crap. You know? Just crap. How, why can you not be between my printed Prusa and his new MK2? Well, I will tell you right now that I can use um, the Prusa control on my printed i3, my printed Mark II, and it'll blow circles around, or it'll, it'll uh, run circles around what he printed last night. I, it will do that. So. You know what, 3D printer noob, though? That's that's 12 sheets of plywood. So, it wouldn't take very long. Well, I'm not going to say very long. I need one of those in my life. That would be awesome. I could I could use one of those in my life. That would be okay. Mr. Buttram, that's a nice group. All right, I got to get off of Discord, so I'm 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 minimizing it. I got to turn down my thermostat because it's friggin' hot in here. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, not for 120. I want to print one. Four stitches in your right hand. Why did you cut yourself on? Good morning, Al Cash One. Hey, I saw something from you last night on Twitter. Oh, yeah, the UFO, the country UFO. That's right. You got to tweak that. That was nice. I like that. <laughs> that was more crying than laughing, Brian Vine. On a trust plate. Yeah, that sucks, man. That sucks. But that sheet metal will get you, buddy. It will get you. Sheet metal is not your friend. I don't give a crap who you are. Oh, that's right. Strawberry vanilla custard. That's right. I got off on, once you asked me, I got off. Oh, yeah, I got to buy some, and I don't have any. Yes, it's a strawberry vanilla custard. Uh, it's, it's actually a clone of uh, Cutwood's unicorn milk. So mother's milk, unicorn's milk, however you want to look it up. And you make it yourself. Oh, yeah, so manly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Sherlock Holmes pipe flavor. That's what it is. bat turd right there you go right morphine or heroin why would that be manly oh, there you go you could you could uh mix some grease with some gojo ladies and gentlemen boys and nerds welcome to the coliseum where it's fernando 
Pena taking the stage for your entertainment. Whew. I gotta come up with some new ones for now, Fernando. God dang it. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess that would be, right? Yeah, he shot him up too, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, you caught that, did you? I'm glad you caught that. That's so nice. All right, I got to check David Olson's thing here. Damn, David. Stop it. You suck. Let me say that again. You suck. Cool, Fernando. I'm glad I can help out. Dave, everybody, David Olson is in Lisbon on business. But the view... All right, brother. Have a good day at work. I'm sorry that uh, we didn't get to talk more. We will later. Sooner or later. The Mask Avenger, right? But uh, he's in Lisbon. I don't care if you shared it with four other people. Come on, man. With a view like that? That ain't even right, David Olson. Fro day. Today's your fro day? <laughs> oh, y'all be good, man. Be careful, Matt. Have a great day. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot for you. Shut up. I hear you, Michael Stoffel. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so because my daughter and them are leaving Saturday morning and I'll probably be up visiting with them, Matt, because it's the last day before they go back to Arizona and I probably won't see them at least until November, till the baby's born. So we'll probably be spending the evening with them tomorrow and I won't be on the stream. Um, so probably not, but I, I may get to catch it. Country 3D, Y 3D starter print, 3D printer review series, wherein you use the tree frog as a benchmark print. Fro day Friday. <laughs> I don't know where to watch. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, no shit. Light speed. Yeah, they, he's stationed at Luke uh, in Glendale. So, yeah. Um. It's hot there. Have a good day, Matt. Thank you for stopping in, buddy. Yep. He works on uh, F-35s. Yep. He's only been in, what, a year, I think? A little over a year, maybe? Uh, so, basic. Finish that up, and he's been out there about five months, so... Six months of training, five months worth of at his thing there, and so almost a year, I think, or just over a year. I don't know. Morning, Sonic. How are you, buddy? Let me see. Let me see how my humidity is this morning. I don't know, but I can pull up my thermostat and see. Oh wow. It's only 89%. The humidity in my house is 59%. Yeah, I know, 99, I know. Cool, Mr. Buttram. Mr. Humidity. Wah, 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 wah. 100% must be raining, huh, Sonic? 
Must be raining. Whoever. Center up. There you go. Sorry I can't get a better angle on that. All freaking Friday. I all freaking day. I got you. Well, maybe it won't tomorrow. Or maybe it will. And you'll it'll still be wet. But the the cool thing is, yeah, and I really I wish Chris would come on. I want to see his uh his benchy as well. Morning, Tom. How are you, my friend? Thank you for coming in here. I really got to re-slice this model, I think, because it got worse when I tightened the belts, and I can't get rid of that. I really, I, I cannot, I, I don't know, you're emotional? What happened, Tom? Or if you don't want to talk about it, I understand. Just hope whatever it is gets easier. You're right, Jason. 100%. Check Filamentum's last tweet. Okay. Let me click on Twitter. Are they going out of business? <laughs> That's so cool, man. That is so cool. But dude, you know, you take your time to get your prints right. Which is, which is awesome. You know, that's what's so awesome about it. Is, like me, I put stuff on the bed and I just print. Dude, I'd love to have that. I'd hang that on my wall. You have no idea. I would like build a case just for that to put on the wall. But I just, I just print stuff. I don't, I don't try every little setting and start and stop and all that until it's perfect. And you do. And that's admirable, dude. It, it shows what can be done if you want to take the time. Cool, Dom. We'll have to keep up with those, buddy. Orange and blue. An orange and blue Jolinar Thor's hammer. That would be sweet, dude. That would be so sweet. But I would want it, Tom, and shipping to here would be expensive. Oh, but I would I would absolutely love it. That would be so cool. David Olson, if I don't talk to you before then, I hope you have a great trip. I really do. I, I, thank you, my friend. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's pretty good, Mr. Buttram. That's pretty good. That's a good question for Ben. I, I don't know how that happens. What's up, Ricky Tanner? Good morning. How are you? Glad you could join us. I am sorry that I missed your singing stream last night. I did not leave Chris Riley the entire time. Believe me, I was there the whole time. He was on the TV while I was working on the Ender, and in between that, I could uh, I could type some stuff. But once once at the end, I, I really got to chat. Absolutely, chat Saturday morning. Yeah, absolutely. Three D printer noob. I wish you lived closer, buddy. I would definitely come help you out. A question for y'all is this is this printer right here is it is it as distracting as the uh, as the TiVo little monster 
Go to work, Carl. God dang it, man. Thought you were already gone. Did you get Natasha up? Or is she not getting up today? She's going to sleep all day. Way less distracting. Well, like right now, the fan's on again, which is aggravating. I, I really want it at the back. Well, you know, that's not the Z-Hop you hear. That's the extruder doing retraction. I, there's no Z-Hop on this one. That is the retraction. I know. Roof, 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 roof. I know. And the thing is, I've tried to, to do it in a way that it's not. But to do the retraction that this thing requires with the with the the Bowden tube it's got here, then yeah, it, it definitely, definitely. Well, no, Filament Frenzy. There was no Z-Hop on the Dragon. Um, there was on the first one, which was better than the second one. But there was no Z-Hop on this one either. And through the body, he was perfect until I got to the top of the wings. That's what I don't understand. I didn't change the profile between any of them. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to turn it and re-slice it and try it that way and see. But, I mean, you think Z-Hop would help? You know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3? But there's not any. There's no Z-Hop on it whatsoever. I mean, I can pull up Simplify and we can go through the settings if you like. Because, yeah. Yeah. I would love to get it right. Dang, we have 39 in here again this morning. This is awesome. I enjoy these shows like this. I appreciate y'all being here. I got you. I got you, Slug. I could cut it off. I could just have it start printing at, you know. So let me go back over here and put a .2 Z-Hop on here. And we will do that. Uh, no extra restart distance. Go with it. Point two. All right. So there. Morning, Mike. Glad you got back from your safety meeting. Mouth. Mouth of the mid Midwest. You, you don't want to get mounted like that. What's up, Derek Matthews? How are you, my friend? Sure, Robbie Mac's gonna talk to him. I see how it is. All right, so let's remove that. Let's put. What do we got here? Let's do Ada Linda. Where's she at? I don't have Luby in here. I don't think. I've been doing everything on my other computer in the other room. But I finally got this in here. I have to go get Luby. Actually, let's do the Sorceress. Let's do the Sorceress on here. Luby. Luby, Luby, Luby. There you are. The Sorceress. We'll just do a small one. 115 millimeters. You are right. He calls you the Mount of the South, Mount the Mount of the Midwest. No, and that that's that's what I'm fighting with too. And it's not. It's, I don't think mine's Z wobble. I really don't. So let's see what we got here. I've got a while left to go on this frog though. So where's my speed at? Let me see. This is printing awful slow. Oh, it's at 60. That's why. I want it at 100. But okay. Alright, so prepare to print.
been told you're adequate. Well, that's good. I'm glad you've been told you're adequate. All right, so let's pause this. Let it pause, and let's do a cancel. I did find out yesterday that my bed is off front to back by two millimeters. It could be one. I gave it two just to be safe. But I don't mind that. I don't mind 298 versus 300. Probably never ever going to print the bed size on this thing anyway. Not not in the near future. All right, so took the frog off. I'm going to cancel the frog. And let's save these tool pass the disc. And we're going to call. We're just going to put it, the sorceress, in the country cube folder. Wait for it to finish writing. It's done. Close that. Let's go upload the file. G code file. Upload. And get the sorceress and hit open. It's a 17 megabyte file, so it takes a little bit. We'll pause this. That's right. Okay, Robbie Mac. Pick it up, though. Quit dragging it. You'll wear it out. Oh, you know what? You know what I got to do today? Just for Matrix Clone. And for those of you that have your earphones on, you might want to uh, turn this down a bit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matrix. Happy birthday to <laughs> And I give you a kiss too, honey. And if he wasn't in here to hear that, I'm going to be upset. But I'm pretty sure he's there. He don't get to talk very much. He is 73 years young. 73 years young. We are one hour in. How about that? That's awesome. Lift up a sheet of plywood. <laughs> yes, sir. Today is today is Matrix's birthday. You're so welcome, my friend. You're so welcome. All right, are we uploaded? We are uploaded. So let's hit the sorceress on here and get her started. But anyway, back to the 298. Sorry, I thought about it. Somebody said something about it uh, there, and I, I just thought about it. But everybody wished Matrix Clone a happy birthday. 73 years young today, which is friggin' awesome. I, I, I really hope that I make it, and y'all are still sitting here watching me like, you know, like I am today. That'd be perfect. What's that? I've got, shoot, I've got 27 more years before I get there. <laughs> Anywho, so, yes, sir, that's right. Happy birthday from the country club. Happy birthday. You know, you're only the second person I've ever sang that song to like that. And the first one got embarrassed as hell. I'm glad you took it the right way. You need to watch Thor, Hulk. I mean, come on, man. Everybody should watch Thor. But we're going to do the Sorceress and see how this turns out. Pretty sure it'll be okay. The Sorceress is, uh-oh. Did I drop out? Did anybody notice me drop out for a second? Because according to YouTube, they're not receiving enough of my video to give a good stream. Okay. But down here, I'm, I'm doing, doing more than I normally do, even. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. You should be able to get... You should be able to get... Uh, oh, somebody said... That's what they said. It's the 9 o'clock hour. Y'all know how to support the channel. The links are down below. Send me a coffee. You know, Patreon, that type of thing. They're all down there. Buy a... Buy a... Buy a shirt. You know, whatever. You know, whatever you can do. Support the channel. It's 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 much appreciated. Um, 
But like and subscribe if nothing else. You know, hit that subscribe, ring the bell, have a good time, and come see us. Um, next week, the format will change. We will we will definitely have morning coffee two times a week, I believe, most, most Saturdays and Sundays. Um, but morning coffee will be moving to the afternoons. So it will no longer be morning coffee. Right now, it's going to be called Country Time until we come up with something better. So, yeah, that's that's what we're going to be. Yeah, no, this is this is probably some of the best streaming that I've had, and it's still saying bad over here, so I don't know. Uh, maybe a YouTube thing or something, I don't know. But let me know if it starts skipping or whatever. Can't do anything about it, but... Yeah, Chris Riley's still sleeping in, slacker. I'm not, uh... I did want to thank him, though. I, and I do, and I appreciate... Somebody mentioned it last night in his stream. It was trolling for dollars, I believe. And that was awesome. It was. Thank you very much um, for, for thanking Chris for giving us the video. Afternoon. Afternoon country crack. Hey, that ain't bad. But if I shorten that to AKC, everybody would think I was the American Kennel Club and they'd be wanting to give me their dogs and I just can't have it. But yeah, we're uh I appreciate that. I do. I thought I thought that was that was nice of you. <laughs> Brian Vines, you have a great day, sir. Thank you for being here. Absolutely, thank you for being here. You know that. Looking forward to your next video. And speaking of speaking of uh, videos coming out today at ten thirty a.m. 10.30 a.m. because somebody got it in on time and did it early and did it like they were supposed to. Mail Thing Thursday will hit the shelves at 10.30 featuring the voice of reason, Miss Country. And I say featuring because I think she has just as many segments as I do. Is it bedtime, sir? <laughs> yeah, I bet you can't, Fernando, and she can't either. It's so much fun, though. It really is. Oh, it's out there. And you have no idea what's going out there. But you'll see. Wait till 10.30. Well, 10.35, 10.40 after you finish watching it. Don't break the car trying to get home to kill me, either. But yeah, the uh, so that will go out today, and it's pretty cool. That's a good way to lose sub. No, not this one, not this time, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. This one will gain me subs, hand over fist. I promise you. See, at 9:02, it still says that I'm I'm bad there, live, low video output. This is not this is not the case. I have not dropped below 1300 kilobits a second and before I used to do 11. So I don't know If y'all are watching at 720p, let me know because this thing keeps telling me it's bad and it's just not from what I can tell. So hopefully not. I will tell you though, the afternoon show will still open the same way. I will still open with the national anthem just like morning coffee. Okay, thanks, Derek Matthews. I appreciate that. Oh, now I'm back to good. Nothing changed. YouTube had had their thing. Um, <laughs> Mike Weather will have it on repeat. You're right. You're right. Because she's in it. That's right. But yeah, the uh, the the national anthem will still remain. The intro will remain. The 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 logo will change, of course. It won't say morning coffee. It will be country time. Hey, Steve Inslee, have you commented before? 
Wait a minute. You just you just sub last night, didn't you? Yes, you did. Everybody welcome Steve Inslee to the country club. I know I mean everybody. He came over from Chris's stream last night and uh cuz Chris so graciously, you know, told everybody to. So, welcome Steve to the country club for me. And uh make him feel welcome. Thank you for joining the country club, Steve. I appreciate it. Hopefully you'll enjoy some of this. You know, probably won't be the best thing you ever watch, but won't be the worst, I hope. <laughs> Jason says, run away, run away. <laughs> it, it, it is fun sometimes, Steve. Sometimes I'm really boring. I just kind of sit here and I'm like, uh, but most of the time, it's not too bad. Most of the time. It, it's basically a chat interaction. We talk about whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Okay, so now we're in the second hour. We're going to talk about the second part of my description. When does, when does a, a hobby, especially 3D printing, when does it become an obsession? Okay? Because you got people like Filament Frenzy who obsess over the perfect print you have people like Chris Riley who obsess over having like 55 million printers in boxes waiting to do um, well when you wake up early to watch my show yeah I guess so you know but when when does it become an obsession versus a hobby because I do know people that have one or two printers and that's it that hasn't happened yet, so it's not an obsession yet. So, but yeah, it's okay. There you go. Okay. And I, I'm not. I'm not talking about being a problem. I'm not talking about being addiction. I'm talking about. Well, there you go, 3D matter makers. But you're trying to do that for a business. I get that. But I'm just saying, not becomes a problem, but becomes your obsession. <laughs> yeah, Apocalypse does. I mean, that hits it on the head. But even if it's not affecting your work or relationship, you know, when you've got room for three printers and you've got six or eight, and they're in your living room and they're invading your other spaces. You know what 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 constitutes too much? Having too much or too many printers or too much filament. Well, you're never gonna have too much filament. If you got one printer, you need fifty rolls. Well, you could, Dom, and you're right. That's it. That's exactly right. I know I act like it's a bad thing. Well, there you go, too, Joe Paddock. That's another thing. You know, when you can say, I've got a 3D printer. Well, no. Now you're just a 3D printing order. Well, and, you know, I was joking about that. To, to my wife and, and son-in-law about Chris Riley the other day because he's got a lot of printers in boxes that he needs to get to to put together and he does all of his building on live streams okay and I understand that I, I understand that he, he does everything on live streams just like I try to um, I am going to do something off of live stream and you know I'm going to but he's got a lot of printers and boxes and my my fear is that by the time he gets around to building them they won't be relevant anymore matrix clone that's just crazy buddy you said your house wasn't much bigger than mine seven motorcycles in your living room
Well, the thing is, though, if you're going to have three or four printers, you got to have a room. I mean, really, you either got to have a room or they're just going to be in your living room and dining room and bathroom and everywhere else. You can find a space on a counter. Yeah, I've told him. I've told him that too. Matrix, that don't even sound like that was a good idea. I've dedicated two rooms for printers now. That's right. We've got the living room and this room, right? No, I would not. I would not. Good morning, Josh. How are you, my friend? I absolutely would not. Thank you for the shout out too, by the way. Thank you. No, you're right, Joe Paddock, and that you know that's what I'm that's what I'm wondering. And it wasn't me that I was talking. I got you. I got you. I done told you I will come to Tampa and make sure that you have room for as many more as you want to build. You're not that far away from me. I will get it running and I will ride it. I promise you that. Hey, we had 40 watching again this morning. That's pretty cool, man. That's two days in a row with 40 watching. Talk nerdy to you. Oh, James, that pocket protector is just so sexy. Can you get any more pins in there? Maybe a slide ruler? Later, Apocalypse Survivor. Take care, brother. Have a good day at work. I know, right? I know. But yeah, the... Uh, I, I'm not even asking for me because I... And I don't watch this channel very often, but there's somebody on YouTube that prints a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. And he doesn't give it away. And he doesn't sell it, but he prints a lot of stuff. And he buys a lot of printers. And he doesn't. <laughs> that was funny. I will, find, I will see what? What did I miss now? What did I miss? Did you tag me in something? Come on, notifications. Oh, what's Ivan making? Oh, more, tra more tank treads. <laughs> I know, man. I know. And that's so cool, though. That's so cool. I'm going to hate it when you go back to work. I really am. I'm going to miss that. It doesn't matter if you get them for free. It doesn't matter what you get for free. I'm not even saying that. But but my, my thing is, where do you put all that? Where does all that go? Because hell, I, I, if I don't give these away, I throw them away. I, and I mean that, throw them away. Because there's no way that like these these messed up little dragons here I may give these out to folks to somebody because they're crap and I don't want them but they don't know any better that's the texture of a wing that's pretty cool you know right you know You're right, you're right, but I'd have to move out with you and leave it all here, so what's, what's, where's the fun in that? But, Dom, the thing is, it's different when, you know, that, I don't know, man, I, and I'm not even, I'm not even worried about that, it's just, you know. You're talking about printers in the 60s? I 
throw all the boxes away too. No, and I get that. But do you make money doing that, Dom? Do you, do you have any income from that? True, Mr. Butcher. That is absolutely true. Some people do not have anything better to do. That's absolutely a fact. <laughs> no Mercy 1900. Hey, guess what? There's another one. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure. Yep. Everybody welcome No Mercy to the channel. Uh, also, come over from Chris Riley's channel last night. Give him a warm country club welcome this morning. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Well, there's a Y off of a sticker. Thank you very much. I agree, Mr. Butcher. No mercy, we're all one big family here. And Chris Riley's included in that. And if I could get to him, I would pour water on him and tell him to get out of bed. <laughs> Just DM me for your complimentary computer? Yes, because I will forward that to Slug Prince and he will buy and ship it to you. He will buy and ship that to you. So, y'all just let him know. There you go. Just add a smoke alarm. And a fire extinguisher. And, you know, all that stuff. Morning, Brennan. How are you this morning? I'm glad you're here. I had something to tell you. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't really. But I'm glad you're here anyway. Yours actually calls 911 for you? Wow. That's a little harsh, especially if you start burning something on the stove, ain't it? I heard that, 3D Matter Makers. I saw you moving your camera around this morning to get everything set up to watch. I got that notification. And you wasn't on stream when I got the notification. I just saw the camera moving. So I know you was there. Eh, it's not doing too bad today. The 720p is the average, average of my... Uh, stream here so trolling for dollars you have a great day sir have a great day hope you heard me tell you thank you about saying that on Chris's machine last night yeah that sucks man I, I got them too both of my computers were rebooted this morning but I did remember to go turn discord off on the one in the living room on there so if you want to post to discord this morning you're welcome to um but no it's it's uh there, there's a time I think that and a lot of those were valid points when when it becomes an obsession um, because there comes a time when you have to be able to walk away from it you know chat sucks I hear you I hear you matrix I don't know why you have such a problem with chat man I really don't now, I will tell you, like last night, I was in the middle of watching Chris's stream. I went down to comment to somebody. I actually had to go over to Edge, the, the Windows built-in printer, open up YouTube so I could chat because Google wouldn't let me sign in. And then 20 minutes later, 
<laughs> but 20 minutes later, I went back over to Google and it let me sign in and everything was fine. So I don't, I don't know what was going on. But it's working now. Matrix, what you got planned for your birthday today, brother? Sitting at home in the AC because it's friggin' hot outside? See, I took your advice. How about that? All right, everybody shut up. Don't all talk at once. I had to kill the formerly Boone Hand Army. Dead hand since it had a missing leg. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Man, I can't wait. I, I really want y'all to comment on the mail thing Thursday today. And show my wife the love for her two segments she has in there. Good morning, Thomas Elrod. Glad you could join us a little bit before the end of the show. It's it's further into the show, but you know you do it. You did a good job getting here early this morning. Dead hand strength. <laughs> thought your wife was out of town. 10.30, slug. 10.30. 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Why, Jason? Did they tell you you couldn't use the logo? No, I didn't answer that question. She's still... You know, a little bit. Yeah, I'm using infill. I like to give these away, fill them in frenzy. And when I give them away, people like them to be sturdy. And I don't mind doing the, the vase mode ones, but they're not as sturdy as the ones with infill. I actually have this one at 15%, at, uh, believe it or not. So the army said that you couldn't use it or they just didn't give you one yet. Well, we did that. We we did that topic already printed and basically when it starts affecting your life around you negatively. Oh, said no. Wow. I didn't think they had a trademark on it. So I I never heard of that. It does, don't it? No mercy. Yeah, we, we go for another... I've got 36 minutes. Do not meet their qualifications for a partner. I'd write them back and say, Hey, the friggin' Marines gave me permission. So are you going to keep doing the Marines if you can't do the rest of the, the armed forces? Because, you know, I'd take one of those army ones off your hands. This hour has 36 minutes. That's correct. And 24 more on top of that that we've already done. Well, you know, in what ways? That's the question, Print it. In what ways? What ways has it been affecting your life negatively? I don't think they are, actually, Slug Prince. I don't think that the army star and the word army... Now, you may not be able to use their logo exactly, but you, the US, the words U.S. Army and that circle with a star around it are not trademarked. So I don't know, I don't know what they're telling. That's the thing. You, you can do it. You don't have to have an official U.S. Army. The word U.S. Army is trademarked, so take U.S. off of it. Just put army. She 
She's almost left you. You're going for quality over quantity. Because yours is quality more than quantity. All right, Dom. We'll see you tomorrow, my brother. Remember, we only got three of these left. Tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. I know, right? 3D Matter Makers, the problem is, is, is how big of a fish are you going to be to sue, my friend? Because first they would send you a cease and desist instead of a, a, a suing you. I'm sure they would. So, yeah, bull crap. That's just stupid. I know that's right. I know that's right. She kept up with chat last night while I was working with my son-in-law during Chris Riley's entire stream until we got done. Well, print it. You know, I don't know your situation. I mean, they may be valid points. She may know you better than, you know, you know yourself. I don't know. <laughs> That's right. So I wouldn't scrap the whole idea, 3D Matter Makers. I really wouldn't. I know, but you was helping me out. I appreciate that. Because you know I wanted to be there for Chris. Even though he ain't showed up this morning. Lazy butt sleeping in. It's like Fun King. Fun King lurks in the background. I'm wondering if he's here. If I got 41 in here, I'm pretty sure that Glenn is in here, and I appreciate that. Huh. Well, that could be a negative impact on your life. You know? How old are you? You know, that, that that's the question. Well, yeah, I, I, if you say so, baby. I promise you Chris hasn't stopped working on printers. It's Felipe Goncalves. Good morning, sir. How are you? Welcome to the trailer home. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think Chris has put down 3D printing since he left out. What's up, dude? Matt Johnson's in the house. You're right about that. Food has in, in general on mine as well. Need to start working on that. Let's see if... Oh, it's an earthquake. Oh, my God. How'd you like them special effects? I should have had a green screen up with the buildings falling down in the background. I was vacationing in Maryland and then in D.C., Yeah. That's just not the same. I'm disappointed. I really am disappointed that they would tell you no. That's just dumb. But I do know that all these t-shirt manufacturers... Oh. Right? I hear you, Tanner. Whoa! Whoa! But... I, I can guarantee you that all these t-shirt people that print army and air force t-shirts and all that don't have a a trademark license agreement with the military i i can guarantee you that but you know that you do what you got to do, my friend. 
That's what I. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, knees are killing me this morning. It's going to rain today. Oh. Hey, ain't that what they say about being illegal? Oh, wow. And a million dollar insurance policy? James, you have a great day, sir. You ain't my daddy, but you are my favorite Canardian, that's for sure. That's true, Colin, that's true. That is true, too. Mike Whaley, that is true, too. It is going to rain pretty much every day. Pretty much every day. you missed it yesterday you need to go back and watch it on a computer where you can get to the links Chris Riley gave us a, a video yesterday uh, a patreon video that, that was only released to his five dollar and above patreon people and I'm announcing it I did not get permission to repost the link again today so I am not going to repost that link again today I am going to just tell you to go watch yesterday's video now some people have expressed concerns over the mindset of Star-Lord. And I have to agree with one of the commenters. He probably got pissed off when I hit him in the mouth on the first question. It probably took all he could do to restrain from beating my butt the entire time. Well, God dang it. Florida's not as close to you as Myrtle Beach either. Man, you could have come down to Destin or, or Panama City. That's about the same distance. Can't be much closer from Clarksville. But it probably is a little bit closer. Ten hours to Myrtle Beach. And it's about the same. About the same. You know, I will tell Both of them are going to be packed. Both of them will be packed. I don't know. I've never been to Myrtle Beach. I've been by it, never been to it. I I grew up on the beaches and uh, don't just hasn't been you know my cup of tea. Booked a cruise last night. That's nice. That's nice. It's like Panama City. What well, cool. Um, you can have it then, because I don't care about that either. We go to Panama City. I don't mind going to like Shipwreck Island or stuff and stuff, but well, that's cool then, Ricky. That's nice, but I don't mind going to the water park, you know, Shipwreck Island or whatever over in Panama City. But I don't have to drive that far to go to the beach. It, it ain't. It just. It doesn't. Right, Colin? I hear you, brother. But I just, uh, I don't feel the need to drive two hours to go to a beach that's packed. I can go over here and drive eight miles down a dirt road and go to a beach that nobody's on. It's not a big beach. It's not a great beach, but it's a beach. It's got white sand. It's got salt water. And really no waves. So you can actually ease out in that water and it's shallow out there. You can ease out, chill out. 
hell, if you get there on low tide, you can walk out 100, 150 yards. Before you hit anything that might even resemble going over your head. Hey, Steve Inzik, what color springs? It's W-A-K-U-L-L-A. What color springs is the largest natural spring in the United States? I, and I, if I'm not mistaken, it's in the world. Um, but it's nice. Heck yeah, Ricky. That You know, that's a good idea, man. It's always nice to see family you hadn't seen in forever. I've got some that live live in Atlanta and, and New York I would love. See, I'll catch that's the type of beaches I don't mind going to. Did you? They don't have that anymore. I'm born and raised in what color, buddy? Born and raised here. Now, I did leave for a few years, joined the service, got married, moved away, bettered myself. But no, we used to dive off of uh, dive off the third tower my, myself, my friend. And dive off and go down and grab a hold of the edge of the cave. Uh, 42 feet to the cave. And we'd dive down there and, and sit as long as we could till we knew we were going to run out of breath right before we got to the top. Got family there and in Tallahassee. I feel sorry for the ones in Tallahassee. If they live down here, they're, they're good. Now, where do you live, Steve Inslee? Wisconsin. All right, what part of Wisconsin? Because I've been to, I've been through Wisconsin, and we went to Milwaukee to the Harley Davidson Museum. We were on a trip to Detroit, and we went to Niagara Falls one day. Came back to the hotel in Detroit, spent the night, got up the next one, and went to Milwaukee to uh, the Harley Davidson Museum. Madison, okay. I got you. Well, y'all both live in Madison. Steve and, and Mike Whaley. What's up, Ben Craig? How are you? You're vacationing already, ain't you? He's already in vacation mode. I need to update my user account. Oh, and I ain't even turned on these today. Hey, and you know you still got time, if you haven't already, to sign up for the Alien UFO box. And for those of you that are new and haven't been in here before, if you use the code Country Club at checkout on the Alien 3D UFO boxes, you get the first one 15% off, and every month after that is 15% off as well. Every one. So, yes. Yes. Yeah. Check them out. Alien3D.us. Um, Slice Engineering. Makers of the Mosquito Hot End. Check them out as well. Venturi 3D. Check him out. He's got a Kickstarter. Should be coming off here in about five days, I think. Newport Ritchie. Yeah, my daughter lived in Newport Ritchie for a little bit. You know I was going to do it, Josh. There he is. Alien 3D. The invasion's already here, and it's coming again. So check them out. There you go. You know, it's a really small world. You get on you get on YouTube and you and you think the world's such a big place, but it's not. You know. That's correct. You won't be. You won't be disappointed with the fun filaments or the fun project. Back to begging on Broadway tonight. You know what? That's right. I beg on here twice an hour or twice in two hours. 
doesn't do me any good, but I beg anyway. It does some days. Some days you fellas think I, I deserve something. It's been fun. I'm going to tell you, the past couple months has been fantastic doing the morning show every day. What's up, Martin? How are you, my friend? Doing the morning show every day has been fantastic. I can't can't wait to see what the evening show does. I know that the, the guys across the pond, it's going to be a little more difficult. The guys down under will actually enjoy it, I think, a little more because it'll be at a time of day when they'll get be able to get to it a little better. Um, at least I remember what, Ben Craig? What do I What do I remember? Believe you me, if I remember something, it's because my wife did. That's right. Miss Country will be able to join me on the uh, the evening shows as often as she wants to. We're going to have to get her a chair, though, instead of a stool. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for my ratings to shoot through the floor when she gets on my show. Oh, wait. Did I say that out loud? Who's on first, damn it? Well, there you go. We can do a throne. A queen-size throne. Just give me... <laughs> you wish, woman. <laughs> oh. 3D print it, too. I'll 3D print her a chair. I'll give her one of John Mack stool samples. We can do that. Ricky Tanner designed me a chair that's in one, two, three, four, five pieces, big enough to fit on a 300 by 300 by 300 bed, and I can I can print Miss Country a chair. She ain't very big, woman. I can super glue it all together. We definitely need to do that. All right, for the second time in two hours, you know how to support the channel. It's down below in the links or in the links in the chat. You see streamlabs.com will get your name on the screen. Patreon will get your name on the screen. Uh, the rest of them will just get my thanks, that's for sure. Buy a shirt, buy me a coffee, hit the streamlabs, paypal.me, patreon.com slash country3d. Everywhere you can find me is country3d. I, I don't change... There's no different names. There's none of that. So, so that's cool. So, if y'all want to support the channel, that's how you can do it. And if nothing else, like and subscribe. Ring that bell so you know when we're on. I forgot we were up to, what are we at, 571, thanks to the two gentlemen last night. I believe that's right. Let me go over here. Which is awesome. I'm going to tell you, wasn't but a couple weeks ago. As a matter of fact, in two days, two days, we picked the winner. The winner of the Star Trek Starship that's being given away. So if you haven't and you don't know about it, go find the video in my videos list. that says Star Trek Ship Selection and comment. Comment on it. doesn't matter where you live. If your name is drawn, and it will be drawn on air on the 14th, it will be a separate live stream from Morning Coffee. It will be drawn on air on the 14th in a, sh in a show of its, of its own. So, all you got to do is comment. There you go, Miss Country. Comment away. But comment, and if it draws your name, you will win the Star Trek ship. And we've already drawn it. It's right up there. It's sitting there waiting to be packed out. And as you can see, I got a bunch. I got a bunch of them to give away. So we're going to do that every 500 subscribers. We're absolutely going to do that. And you may say, well, that's vain. Well, that's all I got. That's what I got. I'm not giving away free printers. Because then you get subscribers that don't want to be here. And I really don't want that. I don't want people subscribing just to win a printer. And then going, okay, well, you know. Because I need to watch Timers too. Shut your mouth, woman. 
They're not in your way. They're 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 nice, neatly packed right up there, right there. As soon as Alien 3D gets out of my way, turn off. Right there. See? Look right there. They're all nice and neat. Right up there. Right there. So, don't don't give me that crap. And I believe the first one we selected was the Andorian Battle Cruiser. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's what it was. I'm not going to get up there and look at it. But that'll be the first ship that's given away, and then we'll randomly select another one. We most definitely will do that. Where at you didn't see? <laughs> sure you did. I should print replacements as I give them away. No, I'm good, man. I really am. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Once I get rid of all of them, I may just turn around and start my collection all over again. No, and I, I got these to adorn my office when I was working for the state of Florida. And they did that. They did that for two years. Okay? And, you know, it looked good in my office. You walked in, they were all on the shelf. It was really pretty and nice and set up. But here, we don't have any room in our house for these. My wife has five bookcases. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four bookcases worth of water globes, snow globes, because that's what she likes. And, no. Uh, Slug got a minus one. But tomorrow we will see how the uh, the Sorcerer's model came out. Because right now it is looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. I fixed an issue yesterday and it really pissed me off because I had to change filament in the middle of a, well not even the middle, right close maybe an hour and a half, two hours away from printing a T-800 um, Terminator skull. And when I changed the filament, I got a layer shift. Well, I figured out what caused the layer shift. And I fixed that, so I'll no longer get that. So now I can pause, change filament without the worry of layer shifting, which is really cool. So that part is fixed so if I have to change filament again I will be good to go collecting water globes I guess if it's a hobby for you that's fine but here's the thing you know we I've been giving her a snow globe we've been married 23 years and I would say for the first what would you say 17 years of that 17 years of that I gave her a snow globe at every opportunity so Easter all right Fernando Pena take care of my brother have a good day but Easter Christmas birthday anniversary um, Hanukkah you name it she got a snow globe everyone so you can imagine in 17 years how many that is. It's a lot. It's a lot of snow globes. Not all of them were expensive. You know, Walmart used to sell them and they don't sell them anymore. So I used to be able to get them for eight, nine, ten dollars twelve dollars whatever. You know, cheap ones. Now they don't. Thank you, Sonic. I just got notification of your comment. Thank you for the comment. And you are you are in the now now in the running. Now I will tell you that when you comment, if you are not subscribed, you will not win because I will go through and validate your subscription. And if you have your settings set to private so that I cannot see you in my subscriber list, you will not win. Oh yeah. No, Robbie Mac, you are correct. I wish my wife did guns. I don't worry about the knives so much. I wish she collected guns. That would be awesome. I would totally support that hobby. Can I see you? I don't know. I'd have to check and see. Yeah, Jason, you know, that sucks. I know, but I don't know. Let's go see. Let's go over here and see if I can see Joe Paddock. I'm sure I can. Let 
see if I can. Is there a way to search? I don't think I can search through these. Is there a what? No, we don't want to do that. I don't know. But I know that I know for a fact there are people subscribed to me that I can't see. Because in this list, if I export it to to um, Excel, there's not 571 people in it. Maybe so. Now see, and one problem I'll have with that is like um, the two that subscribed yesterday. I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, Joe. I got you here, buddy. You're even subscribed to Mrs. Country. Yep, you are there. I see you there, my friend. So now if I go to... Yeah, I'll do it in a minute. Sweet. That would that would be my guess as well, Robbie Mac. If that's one of the settings, you are correct. That that would probably be my guess right off the bat. Man, I hope I can figure out what's going on with the wings of this thing, because this thing prints like a champ. So, I am happy with that. I know, right? You have 14 subscribers from what it said. 14. Yeah, no, Robbie Mac. You know what's really funny? I got three down on the Star Lord video. Got three thumbs down. Really? Was it that bad? Did did it hurt your feelings that bad? You know that I don't understand that. Let me go over here. Fifteen now. Fifteen thumbs down. Really? Did people get that mad that I sucked them in with that? that title oh 15 Ricky Ricky subscribe I was wondering but see I didn't get one on on its decision time or the T-Gall interview but most morning coffees have two. Believe me, if I could get her to do it, we would do it, Joe Paddock. We would. We would definitely get her to do it. But it took, it, it, it was like pulling teeth to get her to do the mail thing Thursday. And she'll probably never do that again either. God, Steve Inslee, you'll wish you never did that. 
But both of y'all being from Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. I wish she would. I wish she would learn how to use a slicer. I get that obviously comment, Ricky Tanner, and I don't appreciate it, not one bit. No, I didn't. Get, there's only three thumbs downs on that video. I've only got 99 views, so I doubt it. I really do doubt it. Shut up, you old fart. I, I hear you laughing in there. Well, Mr. Butchum, that's fine, but my wife really don't want to print nothing for her friends at work either. You know, I don't. I showed y'all my orange and blue vase. I gave that to my sister-in-law. She said she was going to take it to work. I don't know if she did or not. I was hoping my nephew Clyde would get on here yesterday, and he didn't. I think yesterday was his birthday. The big ripe old age of 14. There you go, Robbie Mac. Maybe I should get her to do the wiring on the uh, the hypercube here because I, I really want to get the power supply and all put in the back. So I need to undo the entire wiring and move everything around to the back. Because right now it's on the front. The only thing that would have to really, I might have to extend would be the monitor. But I don't even think I'd have to do that if I put the board over there on that side. I think I could still make it. Because instead of going down this side, it just have to go down that side. That would also get get a lot of wires out of the way. So maybe I should just have her rewire the entire hypercube. So. Well, once I can buy printers again. <laughs> You'll do that Saturday. I will hold my breath. You betcha. I'll turn purple. You better wait till I get some life insurance, though. All right, guys. We're to the two-minute mark. You know what that means. We got a couple of new folks in here. Show them how it's done. Y'all need to treat each other with respect. That's the way the the world works, or it should work. It doesn't work that way all the time, but it would be a much better place if y'all did that. The country club is all about that. Respect each other. Treat each other how you want to be treated, not how you are treated. Everybody's welcome until they make themselves not welcome. And y'all have a great day. I'm going to pop over to the Patreon video here in just a second. But hey, read the left, read the right, pick the middle, and walk that path, people. Thank you. Thank you, baby, for being here. Thank everybody for being here. Appreciate it, and we will see you. We might even see you later on today. I'm not sure yet, but... We might, but if nothing else, I will see you in the morning for morning coffee, and I'll be on Discord in just a second, so we'll see you there. Y'all have a great day.